If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace to have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. All right, good guys, morning to you. Bless the beautiful people, good guys, morning to you. Pray all is well with you this morning on this fine Saturday. Thank you, honey. Saturday, Saturday, October the 8th, beloved. Another day the Lord has made, and we will, we shall, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Let us get our scripture for this Saturday morning. Good God's morning to each and every one of you all. I see you all. Hey, Pages. Hey to the Singletarius. Y'all say good morning to First Lady, even though she's not exactly on yet, but she'll be on there. All right. Good God's morning to you. Let's get our scripture. Our scripture for this morning is coming from First Corinthians chapter 1. Verse 10 of the NIV version will call our attention for this morning. And it reads like this, beloved. It says, I appeal to you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another so that there may be no division among you and that you may be perfectly united in mind and thought. Let me read that again. I appeal to you, brothers, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another, that there may be no division among you, and that you may be perfectly united in mind and thought well looking at that text beloved apparently it is obviously that there was some type of disagreement going on with the believers the body of christ and so here it is that the writer paul was trying to get them together trying to get them to come together to be as a unified body of christ in mind and in thought. Now, I get it, beloved. Because of our different personalities, we are all not going to agree that certain things should be done a certain way. Amen. However, we all should agree on the mission and purpose. And every mission of the body of Christ should be to lift up Jesus. Because he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And so if the mission and purpose is not to lift up the name of Jesus so that God will be glorified and the people of God will be edified, you might want to rethink that. I get it. We all have different personalities. But at the end of the day, we all should be striving for the same goal. And that is to lift up the name of Jesus so that the world will see. And the world would want to know. Bye, honey. The world will want to know who, who is that God that you serve? Who is that God that you serve? I want to serve that God. I want to know him. 
because we will be a unified body of Christ. Beloved, it is it is so such an embarrassment and a shame for the body of Christ to not be on one accord and for others to see a disconnected dysfunctional body. You know, I I feel like this. This is this is my thoughts, okay? There was enough division and discord in the secular world that when it comes to the house of God, we all ought to be striving to be on one accord in one mind and 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 just come to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. That's what it should be about. Ain't about the big eyes, little yous, doing this, doing that. No. Let's just come together and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Paul made this appeal to the body of Christ. He wasn't talking to those out there who didn't know the Lord. He was talking about to those who knew the Lord. Come together. No division. Let's be a unified body of believers. Ah. Wow. Come on, let's pray. Father, we want to tell you thank you this morning. God, for your word. Father, we pray for unity in the body of Christ. Any dysfunction, any dis division, God, any anything that the enemy tries to bring forth, Father, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus and we send it back to the pits of hell from which it came from. We thank you for a unified body of believers that we can come together and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Come together and, and give your name praise and be about the purpose of ministry. We give you glory today, God, for this reminder of who we are. We are blood-bought believers. We thank you. Let this mind, which is also in Christ Jesus, be in all of us. For together we stand, divided we'll fall. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, beloved, well, good God's morning to each and every one of you all. Again, let us come together. Paul wrote to the church. I believe that message still stands forth this day. Let us all come together and be on one accord. Listen, if you haven't purchased this book yet, go get the book. Go get the book. Go get the book. <laughs> It'll bless you real good. Give it to someone. Go get it. Give it to someone. When you get it, um, for those of you who are in the area, just come and I'll sign it if you wish. Again, it is a, it's a journal prayer journal daily word prayer journal again they're not the days the dates are not there so it is um numbered and so you don't have to worry about well it's january um you know i'm i'm it's it's this is it's november i i want to start in january so i can have it the beginning of the book no wherever you are you could today could be your number one day okay so get the book share it with somebody again the link is in the comments all right, you all have a blessed and a beautiful day today, and we will see you all tomorrow, same time, same place, for another Good God's Morning moment. I'm looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow at worship services, 11 a.m. sharp at the Great Building, 611 East Main Street, Great Town of Pamplico. All right, Good God's Morning to each and every one of y'all. We'll see you all tomorrow, same time, same place. All right, Good God's Morning to y'all. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful Saturday now. Be safe. <laughs> if you want to hear want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day if you want to build your faith your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ so tune in to good God
Just move.